Hi and welcome to my latest uh, video, um, a video uh, a little bit different. It's a, a recipe for homemade potato cakes, something I've never made before. So we'll just have to bear with me. Uh, uh, it may turn out okay and it may not. But uh, anyway, ingredients for the potato cakes. What do we start with? Well, potatoes, of course. Uh, salt and pepper we need. Uh, we need a spoonful of baking powder. A small to medium onion. An egg. But if I did this again, I wouldn't use the egg. Rather gooey. Some uh, grated cheese or uh, grate it yourself, mixing in, give it a bit of flavour. So first of all, we've got to uh, peel the potatoes. Uh, peel, peel the potatoes, then boil them, ready for mashing. I used about 500 grams of potatoes and it made uh, three very large or fairly large potato cakes. You'll see the results later which I wasn't very happy about really. Um, wash the potatoes, rinse them a few times, get all the starch out, cut them up as, into small pieces and the reason I do that is so uh, they will cook uh, quicker. Actually, the smaller the pieces, the quicker they'll uh, they'll cook through and boil. Yeah, I mentioned the egg before. It did make a bit of a gooey mess. It's supposed to bind it together, bind the mixture together, but I thought it made it rather a gooey mess and um, things didn't turn out like I hoped, although they were quite, quite delicious in the end. So uh, we are boiling the potatoes. We are, I am actually speeding a lot of this up because you don't want to see me peeling potatoes and watching potatoes boil. Um, rinse in the colander. Uh, rinse a couple of times again and uh, get the starch out the potatoes. Um, back in the pan and rinse again and then uh, into the bowl ready for mashing. Right, salt and pepper uh, to taste, of course. I don't have a lot of salt in it, not good for you, but I do like quite a bit of pepper and stuff. And begin to, to mash the spuds together. Add the onions, the grated onions. When you're cutting the onions, get them as fine as possible.
I think possibly from here I should have stopped mashing the spuds and use perhaps a spoon to mix to get mix the mixture together. We were putting in some uh, grated cheddar cheese to add some flavour. Again to taste, I would have probably put more in next time I do this. And again, a, a spoon to stir the mixture together now would probably have been better. Um, especially when you put the egg in, it just goes to a gooey mess. A gooey mess that works eventually. Um, turned out alright, the taste is very nice. But not like the ones you'd buy at Tesco, unfortunately. A little bit of butter. Uh, butter spread. Add some flour in now. Added the flour to more or less thicken it up, but you don't really want to put too much in. Oh, it just goes like a plain pastry. And there we putting the egg in so I'll, although in some recipes it uh, says add an egg to bind it together I just found it made it a bit of a gooey mess so all mixed together now use the spoon to for the final mix Add in a bit more cheese, a bit more flavour. Bit more pepper. And continue mixing. It's starting to thicken up, but I did have to keep putting more flour in, but the egg just makes it stick to everything. It's, um, see, we will try again. I said the taste is delicious, but this mixing excess isn't what I expected. I'm possibly do with some less flour but well, I, I just kept adding the flour to hopefully get it so it could be rolled out but I never got to that stage so the frying pan's on now I mean you don't have to use a frying pan you can actually uh, do them in the oven uh, different ways of doing them them on a baking tray put them in the oven um with these i'll show you what happened with this first one it was a matter of trying to spread the mixture out when we get round to it here we go, a little bit of oil, spray oil, stop things sticking. And what I had to do then was spoon the mixture in. But trying to get it even was a bit of a, well it was a bit difficult.
Right, so here we go. Uh, the pan is, is very hot. As you see, the mixture just doesn't... It, well, it's sticking to the spoon, sticking to everything. I get so much and then uh, try spreading it out. But uh, we couldn't get it as thin as we would have would have wanted to. We just did. A, I did what we could, just spreading it out to the edges of the pan. Looking now to turn it over like a pancake to do the other side. But um, a bit of a messy business. Still very sticky. I think we're ready for turning over. Yeah, we turned it over, but part of it broke up, so I had to straighten it out, which made a bit of a mess of it. We nearly did it. As you can see that edge broke off, so I had to flatten it out to get the other side cooked. But it wasn't too bad though. There it is on the plate. I'll try and again for this next one. We tried it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit different for this next one. What I did was pour some milk into the mixture, hopefully to make it so as it would pour. But uh, it got thinner and it poured, but again, it didn't spread out very much. But this this particular one um, was much better than the first one. So perhaps that's the secret is to have a runny mixture. So you can make them like pancakes, I suppose. And there it is, can't resist uh, tasting them. In fact, I ate them all, if truth was known. Yeah, there's the second one. All done. And the third one in the pan. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the result from cutting those into pieces now. I actually uh, let the last one cool and I was able to uh, to put it into the uh, the toaster to actually toast it and put butter on. So um, it was a, a minor success, but not as good as I'd expected. <laughs>